welcome to game five of my match against Bobby DJ18. I am down by two games, so I've got to win the last two to catch up. There's a lot going on here. Um, draw can be a bit dicey. Um, you kind of want hirelings, I think. Um, it's hard not to just displace, transport, displace, and top deck it turn two, though. Um, Goat Herd will thin you a little bit. Um, Armory seems like a very strong card as well. Like I would consider opening Armory Goat Herd if we did not have Transport, but I feel like Transport Displace is just too good. Um, you can also buy Hireling. You can also displace like Province to Hirelings and stuff, but I think Transport Displace is just going to be too strong of an opening. Um, getting that on top of the deck. Start turning the estates. Probably turn the first estate into an Armory and then another one into a Goat Herd. And you want to try to get like um, um, armories, villages, goat herds, and get those shoved into the deck as quickly as you can. I don't think it makes sense to displace again. I think I'm just going to take armory, goat herd here, and then grab a village or plaza next turn based on how much money I have. Um, and we are going to look to... Possibly use threes in the future to transport hirelings. Um, we could also like displace plaza into hireling and then gain the plaza back with armory. That seems like it will be pretty strong. But armory is going to gain a bunch of villages and plazas and stuff. That lets us do the display stuff. And then eventually cities will activate at some point. Um, Plazas are good targets, again, to displace into Hireling. You play the Hireling, and then Armory gain the Plazas back. Hireling increases your draw size, and you're basically going to get some golds then and spin up the golds into into um, into provinces. It's a little bit awkward for me. Um, Goat Herd is a slight player to edge, um, but it is what it is. Here, I'll just display... I have the armory already, so I don't want another one. I think one crossroads is going to be... Crossroads. I have no estates, right? So crossroads is terrible. Okay. Hopefully they play their goat herd here. Um, otherwise, this is a very, very sad shuffle for me, bottom decking my armory. Armory, I guess, can gain stuff to the top of your deck, so it's not, like, the most sad to bottom deck, because you can at least, like, top deck another armory and then play that. Um, but yeah, Goat Herd will be really nice for thinning the coppers out. And then seeing their Goat Herd before me in the shuffle is very nice. One of the perks of bad shuffles. Okay, um, yeah, I think I'll grab a plaza. I think I like, um, now that I've seen the armory, I'll pop back the plaza and do the same with the hireling. Um... Plazas can be somewhat... Some of these turns I only want three money, so if I have four coppers, I'm happy to uh, smooth the cost with plaza. And you do want to hit six at some point to buy that gold. Although I guess you can displace into it. Um, until we actually have thinned more of the coppers, um, this can be a little bit slow, but once we've each thinned like three or four coppers, it just explodes, and the game just kind of ends. It looks like they missed their armory from this shuffle. Um, I actually saw one card further because they um, saw their goat herd before I did. And I very much hope not to see the um, hireling or the displace here. Um, okay, so I will grab a plaza out of the top of the deck and transport this hireling to the top of the deck as well. One could consider like trying to get six and buy them, but I think the the um, pace of the extra card draw is just going to be so powerful in the early game that I'm going to spend three twice rather than to get one rather than nine to get two. Village, plaza. Um, I guess I'll trash a copper here. Um, 
Play the hireling. Displace the estate. I guess this will just be another plaza. I don't really want to add more things. I could I could think about adding another goat herd, I guess. Um, as just thin my coppers even faster. Um, now that I've got the hireling in play, um, I've still got five coppers to trash. I've thinned all my estates. It will up their goat herd's draw, but they, if they only have one, then not as big a deal. Um, and I feel like getting the getting the spinning online as quickly as possible is going to be really powerful. Um, they did not see their goat herd this turn either, which is quite sad for them. Um, and I assume this is city, maybe? It's not incredibly clear to me that another pile will run. Okay. Um, well, I'm displacing this goat herd because it didn't, uh, didn't do anything for me this turn. I will grab a city? A band of misfits? Perhaps. Then I will transport another hireling. Oh, I can top deck the goat herd. Um, I don't really want to do that. But I have thinned now three coppers to their one. Um, and two estates to their one. So I'm quite a bit ahead on thinning. Um, I got my Harling in play a turn faster. I mean, I'm player one, but I've had a little bit better shuffles here, for sure. So yeah, perhaps that goat herd by. Um, oh, that was a goat herd um, exiling too. Okay, well, I'm okay with that. It was a two to a three, and then a three to a five. It could have been a two to a four and a four to a six, um, but it is uh, it is what it is. If I like draw my displace here, I could very strongly consider displacing the armory into two into the hireling and getting the hireling off the mat. Um, It's not it's certainly not a crazy thing to do. Um, all right, well, we'll we're gonna discard some coppers to start. All right, did they trash? They did not trash, so that is somewhat worth noting. I'm just gonna kind of dig through here. Um, do I want to discard? I think I'm gonna play. This band as a plaza. All right, so yeah, I think we're gonna do the thing I said. We can always displace back into it later. Um, we can always displace back into it later, pretty easily. Like displace a village or a goat herd or something. Um, hopefully, I can find a goat herd or a band this turn. Get the draw, but I'm pretty pretty well trashed. I can even consider going hireling into province here, and then province back to hireling. I'm using hireling as the intermediate card and like playing one each turn, so there's only one in deck. We can only do that like two or three times, but um, they've got two hirelings in play. Do they exile two? Well, they've got two total, and I've got three. They've got two in play. I'll have two in play next turn. Um, they have one more state and like three or four more coppers in deck, whatever the number is. And that feels bad in a displaced kingdom having to gain a silver. I would just gain like a plaza and then next turn displace the plaza into a gold and then displace the gold and etc. etc. Um, so order of business for this turn, I'm definitely going to play one hireling. Um, 
I would conceivably like to get my uh, I can discard one. Okay, I drew the Displace with the Band, and the bottom card is a Hireling. So, what am I doing here? I want to get another... I want to play this Hireling for sure. Um, just play this as a Plaza. Hireling, just Displace the plot, the Hireling into Province. And then next turn, displace the province of the hireling and feel like I'm drawing deck. I'm going to add draw. I've got an extra hireling that I'm using as an intermediate for province and maybe pick up another displace this turn. Um, I am almost thin of copper. I discarded two last shuffle. So I have two coppers left, which means they have five still. They did not trash either. Um, okay. I'm not discarding here. I think I want to draw. Okay, so we're displacing the uh, province now into hireling. Draw. So another hireling down there. We're buying, basically we're buying a province this turn. Sorry, we're buying a Displace this turn. Um, so do I want another Armory? Um, the bottom card of the deck is there's a Hireling down there and a Province. So I'm fairly certain that I want to draw on. Those are not great cards to have. All right, so we play both of those. Um, is it worth keeping one copper for discarding for coffers? I don't think it is. Um, but I guess I don't want to trash to give them the value. Uh, and then buy a second displace. We've got four hirelings in play now. Um, I should be able to do a lot of tricks. I think this turn is displace band into gold. Displace gold into prop. Or sorry, displace... Um, Displace band into gold, displace province into um, displace gold into province this turn. And then possibly one or two other things. I can figure that out as the turn progresses. I'm probably done with hirelings now. Um, the deck does tend to fill up with gold a, a bit, but that's not the end of the world if you're just drawing a bunch of golds and displaces. Um, and the goat herd will draw this turn for me, which is nice. I think I'm, again, not going to uh, trash with the goat herd. Uh, I don't know. We might trash one because we do want to try to stay somewhat thin so we can do the double display tricks. I can also pull the armory off of, I can ban this with the armory to gain an armory. I don't think I have enough draw for that. That gets me two armories, and then I displace the armory into gold and so on. Um, I might have enough draw for that. I have two plazas. I have three plazas in a village, and I'm starting the turn. Basically, after I put the goat herd, I've got my whole deck in hand. Um, so play the. Do I have enough terminals for that? Yeah, this bottom card's a plaza, right? Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm Band of Misfits, playing Armory, gaining Armory. Um, draw. Displacing Armory into Gold. Draw. Um, I don't think I want to trash a copper this turn but I have two more cards of draw right so um, I can not discard I'm gonna trash that copper displace 
gold into province. Province, and then armory gain, just another plaza. And then save my one coin. Hmm. That turn still felt like I was not maximizing what could be done on this kingdom. But I think this is a turn where I can displace province into gold and gold into province. And um, that should be pretty solid. Did I not take the armory out of exile last turn? Oh, I exiled it again. Okay. Yeah, I can also consider using my armories to empty plazas. So I could like buy a city and then potentially mid-turn empty plazas, do stuff with the city. Um, all right, they did not trash. So that's worth noting. Um, we're displacing province into gold. One, two, three. Uh, okay, so we're discarding copper. To figure out what my armory is gaining. If my armory is gaining plaza, we're displacing gold into province. So if my armory is gaining plaza, um, I could have done this in a different order. Um, so what is my Band of Misfits doing here? Um, I'm not worried about them getting four provinces. Um, so I can gain like two plazas to the top of the deck by a city. Or um, I've only got one province out of hand. So like Crossroads doesn't do anything for me. Gotor doesn't do anything. Um, and these cards in my hand really don't do very much. So I definitely could have gotten another copper if I did that order differently. I can always play Bandis. Um, yeah, so we just grab some plazas to the top of the deck. And we buy a city, and then potentially we can mid-turn activate with plazas next turn. And hopefully we don't need those coffers. Um, yeah, there's no worry about them getting four provinces. Um, I think three is even going to be very, very difficult for them to do. And they can't, if they get two, I win, because I can get two next turn pretty easily, displacing two golds in the province. So I'm not quite sure... Quite sure they did they still have an estate and three coppers in that deck so like they're they're gonna struggle to draw quite a bit more than I am um, yeah they can't really touch plazas come gonna empty those and the city's gonna draw for me then um, but if I just take two provinces next turn um, there's no world in which I triple province right Hmm. Let us think. Is there a world in which I triple province? Um, I don't think there is. Okay. Um, I have my bottom three cards has another plaza and a gold. That right? No, Band of Misfits in a gold. So if I double province, Armory gains. Okay, so if I double province, Armory gains a silver. I double province. Oh my, I can't. Okay, so I need to, sorry, um, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, discard that copper. Okay, so I'm displacing province into gold, drawing them both. Yeah, I need to get the gold back. Um, 
that's what I want to do. So now I play the plaza. I can't discard this copper. And now I just play any cantrip. Here, don't discard. Let's place gold into province. Grab another plaza, buy a province, and worry slightly about triumph, but not enough to care. And with an eight card starting hand, nine card starting hand, all these cantrips, um, they still have trouble drawing, I think, their deck. Um, I'm not seeing how they can catch up here. If they armory, 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 armory. Okay, they're <laughs> conceding defeat. Hey, I got one. Um, so um, that one went to me, first player. Um, now I try to even the match in game six.